Okay, so I'm going to film this because I can only have one batik that I've done, so I can only do it one time. So what I have is I have one of the dyes that I've mixed up. Um, this year I have a green and I also have a turquoise. This taller can is a turquoise. The shorter, more standard size coffee can is the green color. I grabbed a pair of disposable gloves and I have my completed batik. Okay, well, my completed, completed wax portion of my batik. Okay, I've covered most of it with wax. So I have my coffee can full of dye that I have mixed up following the directions. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my gloves. This is actual fabric dye. It is not, you get it on your clothes and your clothes are going to be stained. Okay, so please put the gloves on. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to crumple up our batik. Yeah, you're going to lose some of the wax, as you can see, but you're not going to lose all of it. Okay, so we'll crumple that. I would recommend maybe going to the trash can and doing that. Okay, I've got quite a bit here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull over my trash can here the back of the room. I'm just going to dump, dust that into the trash can just to make less mess. Okay. So now you can see that my batik is not quite as stiff as it once was. If you want to crumple it again, go for it. I'm going to crumple just a little bit more just to give it just a little bit more of the softness. Give it a good shake in the trash. I'm just one like this in the trash. Okay. So now I have my crumpled batik. Okay. Now, as I said, this is actual dye. Okay. As in, it will stain your clothes. It will stain your hands. It will stain your hands for several days. Um, your clothes, it will stain for forever. Okay. So, in here, following the directions of the dye, I have mixed up the dye. They all look really dark and very black. This is actually the turquoise, okay? So, right now they all look black. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna crumple this up and I'm going to submerge it in the dye. Now, the directions say that this needs to be submerged for at least an hour. Um, I will leave it in there for some time I'm going to stir it up a little bit using my hands. That's why I said you need to have the gloves. You can see here the gloves are already getting a little dirty. Obviously, I only have so many colors, so we will probably have more than one person's in there at a time. Um, I haven't really used that much dye. The last time I dyed something, I tie-dyed, and we didn't really have that much to worry about for time because we just kind of squirted it on there and we let it sit and that was that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit for a little bit and I will probably show you what this looks like during class time if I can and um, I'll decide if I need to have any more time or not. But I would say we will probably have more than one piece in there at a time and um, I'll look at this in a little bit and see how it looks for color-wise. If I want it to be darker or light, well, actually, I can't really make it lighter, but if I want it to be darker or not. So I'm going to put the lid back on the can so that way the dye doesn't spill. Um, so gloves are a must. We'll probably have one person or it'll be me, and I'll kind of stir them up a little bit here and there, and we'll kind of check and see how it's going. Um, but... Yeah, we'll see. The longer it sits in the dye, the darker the color will be. It's going to be an experiment no matter what. Um, we're going to need to be careful to make sure that we don't get dye on ourselves. But what the next step will be, and I will try to record that for you, is we will take it out of the dye, wring it out, and rinse it under cold water until the dye rinses out. And then we'll let it dry. And then we'll go on to the next step. But um, we'll see what it looks like. And... You can 
decide how long you want to leave it in there for. I'm going to say at least 10 minutes would probably be a good enough length of time, but I don't really know. So I will show you what it looks like in class and I'll decide if I'm going to rinse it out or not and we'll go from there. But I wanted to record this for you guys so that way you can see because I can only do it once. So we will take a look at it during class time and see how things look.